Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Gwendi and let's continue with the series on Python. Now to this point we have talked about OOPS concept right in which we have seen inheritance right. Now what is inheritance if you already have some classes and if you want to use the existing features you will simply say class B which will take the features from A right. So class B inherits A or you can go with a concept of multiple inheritance where one class will extend from two different classes or more than two classes right so in this case we have class a class b and then we have class c which is print which has a feature five but it is also inheriting a and b so we can say c has five features right so that makes sense now what we'll do in this video is we'll talk about two topics the first one is the constructor in inheritance how it behaves and we'll also talk about method resolution order or you can say mro so let's start with the constructor time bin let's ignore c okay so let's say we don't have this c so we'll ignore that part and uh, in fact we'll delete that part from for time bin and let's focus only on a and b where b is inheriting a okay so in total in b we have four features right now what happens is if i create an object of a so let's say if i say a1 is equal to constructor of a so this will work right so when you say a bracket that's a constructor it will call a method which is in it now even if you don't define it it is there somewhere right but let me define my own constructor on init here so i will set def and we'll define the init method and this init method will print one stuff so let me say print in a in it nothing much we are not doing anything extra here we are just printing in a in it that's it now what do you think what it will print of course we are creating object of a right so it will only execute a see with the object of a you cannot access features of b okay so even if i try example if i say a1 dot you can only access feature one and feature two but yes if you have an object of b you can access all the features right features from a and b because b is a subclass and a is superclass and as i mentioned subclass can access all the features from superclass but that's not vice versa right a superclass cannot access all the features of subclass not even one feature of subclass okay this is fun now what if i create object of b so i'm not getting object of a here i'm getting object of b doesn't matter what is a1 or b1 important is if i create an object b will it call the constructor that's the question because we are not getting object of a we are getting object of b will it call the constructor of a that's the question let me just run this code and it works okay so even if you have the object of b it will still call the constructor of a right that's how it works but what if you have your own constructor what if you have your own init method example in b see in b we don't have that init right and that's why it's going up so let me repeat since we don't have init inside b that's why it is going to a but what if you already have a init with you so i will simply copy paste here in b so both have init but then in this i will print in b in it right so in a we are printing in a in it in b we are printing in b in it so this makes sense now if i run this code what it will print it will it print in a in, in it or in b in it of course right if you are getting object of b it should only call the init of b right and let's see if that works and let me just run this code and we are right so when you run the code you can see we only got in b in it so that means if you create an object of b first it will try to find the init of b if it is not there then it will go for a okay that's the point you have to remember but what if you also want to call the init of a is it possible i mean if i create object of b can i call the init of both the classes i mean a and b see by default it will call only b right what if i want to call a as well and that's where we have a very special keyword or a method you can say and that is super so with the help of super so you can say super and it's a method basically so you will say super dot the moment you say super you can access all the features of the parent class so we can say super dot in it so what we are doing is we are trying to call a init method of class a so the moment you say super you are representing the super class okay which is in this case it is a so we are trying to call the init method of class a that's important and now let's run this code and you can see we got both the output we got in a int and we got in b int so point to remember is when you create object of b it will call the init of b first and then from the init of b you are trying to call the init of a so it will jump up it will execute the init of a first which will print in a in it and then it will come back to print in b in it okay that's why we got the output so this makes sense so we can work with constructor in inheritance right now let me add a twist here so what i will do is i will remove this super from here let's clean it and uh, i will not even say that this is b so class a and class b 
two different things okay they're not linked with each other but then we have class c as we have done earlier we'll say class c and class c will inherit both the classes a and b okay and now if i say def and init you know right what we are trying to do here first of all we'll print in c init okay and then i will create object of c so there's no object of a and b i'm trying to object of c now what do you think will it call the init of c or a or b of course right when you say the object is of c it will call the init of c only let's run this code and that's right we got the output as in c init so this works perfectly but what if you want to call the init method of a superclass but there's a twist here now c has two superclasses right one is a and b the moment you say super dot in it now what do you think which edit it will call will it call the init of a or b that's a question let's run this and let's see what happens the moment you send this on this code you can see it says in a in it that means we are unfair here we are biased towards a we are not taking b here right this is completely wrong Oh, but the thing is we have a concept of MRO which is method resolution order so what happens is whenever you have this multiple inheritance it will always start from left to right which means so first so the moment you say in it it will try to find the init of itself so since we have in it here it will execute the init of c then the moment you say super dot in it now we have two classes right a and b and on the left hand side we have a and on the right hand side we have b so it will prefer left one first so it will it goes from left to right and that's something you have to remember it's always from left to write okay and that's why we got in a in it the same thing can be done for methods example let's say uh, we have two methods which are same so in this case you can see we have feature one in a and feature one in b both are the same methods with the same name of course and in this i will print some different message here i will print feature 1a and here I will, play, I will say feature 1b that means the feature 1 is in a and feature 1 is in b and now if I try to call so I will say a1 dot feature 1 will it call from a or b that's a question and we know the answer right it will always call from a because it goes from left to right and you can see the output so this is something you have to remember which is the concept of method resolution order so basically in this video we have talked about three things the first one is how constructor behaves in inheritance the second one is how to use that super method and the third one is mro which is method resolution order now in fact with the help of super method can we call a function let's see that so let's say from uh, we have a function here which is def and i will say feature feed that's it and in this i'm trying to call the method of superclass right so we can say super dot and we can use that thing okay so you can say super dot feature 2 and let's see if it is working let me call feature it should call the feature 2 so yes it works so you can also use super method to call other methods as well not just in it so to represent this super class we use super method okay so that's how you have to remember so that's it from this video i hope you are enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos Bye bye